everyone. I, I live in Atlanta now, but I grew up in a small town in upstate New York. And I think it's dangerous growing up in the north and moving south, okay? It is. You can't go straight from English muffins and cream of wheat <laughs> right into biscuits and gravy. <laughs> no. No, that's like going from Tic Tacs into heroin. <laughs> I immediately gained weight. I tried to diet by eating vegetables. Problem, all the vegetables here have pork in them. <laughs> yeah, the collard greens, the green beans, the Brussels sprouts. If you order a Bloody Mary in the South, what does it come with? Mayonnaise. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had a baby in the South, y'all. It came out bacon wrapped. <laughs> Pigs in a blanket, thank you, yes. <laughs> Even my Jewish friends in Atlanta eat pork tacos. <laughs> like, that's not kosher. <laughs> that's carnitas. <laughs> like, what's happening here? <laughs> We, we moved to Atlanta for my husband's job. Uh, he has a cool job. He's actually an atomic physicist. Ooh, right? Fancy nerd guy. Uh, which is good, because in college, I studied musical theater. No, no, I feel like a rescue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, one's, no one's been asked to tap dance in a job interview since like 1942. My single friend asked me how I got a physicist to marry me, so I asked my husband, like, baby, what did you like about me? What did you like? And he said, I made eye contact, <laughs> and I smiled. <laughs> that was it, that was all of it. That's such a low bar. If you're single, go walk around the Georgia Tech campus. <laughs> Your milkshake will bring the nerds to the yard. <laughs> and science, scientists are super sexy, y'all. They really are. Someone who got a perfect score on the math SATs doesn't crack under pressure, okay? Yeah, yeah. They can solve for X and solve for your big O. Yeah. Yeah, I, I promise no matter how you did in school, you're both gonna magna cum loudly. Um, we have we have kids um, <laughs> and we have all boys. And when they were little, I forgot to lock the bathroom door. Thank you. Yeah, and they came running in, and the oldest one asked me what happened to my penis. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> so I told him I didn't eat my vegetables. <laughs> and it fell off. And they believed me, because <laughs> children are stupid. <laughs> uh, I tried to be a good mom during the pandemic, um, but I'm pretty sure the only thing I taught my kids is to say, whew, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not good parenting. <laughs> that's a red flag, actually. Uh, but I love drinking. I love all the kinds of drinking. I love day drinking. Do we like day drinking here? Woo! Yes. No, no, don't do it. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. I day drink one day, May 2022. Five months later, I found myself on an adult-only trip to Disney World. <laughs> No, the shame, the shame, I'm 46 years old, and I am not a virgin, okay? <laughs> that trip's not for me. I, and I know like musical theater nerds and uh, adult Disney people can get like mixed together. We are not the same thing, okay? <laughs> All my adult Disney friends have Disney tattoos. Oh, I know, right? That's like a $100 oopsie daisy. And it's permanent, no. Theater nerds, we're classy. We get musical theater degrees. That's a $100,000 oopsie daisy. <laughs> Show some respect. <laughs> and it's permanent, yeah. <laughs> this is permanent too. Those student loans are hard to remove, yeah. I got rid of mine with a two-step process. Step number one, I made eye contact. Yeah. Step number two, I smiled, I'm a bad feminist. <laughs> I'm Amy Brown. <laughs>